reminder, if you guys want to support us monetarily, please go down to our Patreon link down in the description below. There, you will find various tiers with exclusive access to the Discord server, as well as full reaction videos and skits. Also, if you want to wear some reanimated gear, check out our Teespring links located under the description in all of our videos. All proceeds will go into funding our channel and providing you all with more great content. Now, back to your regular schedule programming. What's going on, y'all? It's Reanimate, your boy Sherman, aka Sherman Kage, it's your man Terrence, the man with the do-right plan. We are here with another reaction video, the third one for the day, and the last one for the day, Damachi. Season 3, episode number 2. Last time on Damachi, we saw the bell found a, a vid, vi, vine, I, I can't a dragon. remember. Yeah, a dragon. I, I can't remember the name of it. Humanoid but... dragon thing yeah. um, in the dungeon. Um, she's actually cognizant, though. She can speak. She can cry. She can experience emotions. Um, we see that there might might be some kind of problems with her. She was explaining the bell that she had a dream about being a monster and killing people and people trying to kill her and stuff. So maybe she is a monster or maybe she was reincarnated from a previous monster that she was. I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, I'm definitely curious to see where this is going. We saw at the end that, um, uh, what what the fuck is his name with the blonde hair? I can't remember. The perfect dude, the perfect god. Was it um, Hermes? Hermes, yeah. Okay. So we saw Hermes at the end and his familiar, and they're basically plotting uh, to find where this monster is. Uh, we saw that Lily was getting tailed by a uh, homegirl with the uh, with the ears and shit, the deer chick, whatever she is. Um, so we saw that too. So um, there's a lot of shit going on. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, it's taboo to bring monsters out of the dungeon, which Bell did. So th there's a lot of revelations going on, a lot of moving pieces. But we're gonna see what happens this episode. You ready, brother? Ready, Freddy. Episode number two. Let's do it to it. Oh! Viver. Damn. They ain't even do shit. All right. Oh, jeez. I have a feeling they're gonna come chasing out the bill. Of course they are. <laughs> this dude in the tracksuit, what? <laughs> you don't look like much of a gub. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> this nigga's name is Dick. I knew that was coming up. This nigga gay. <laughs> Bring her with us. Oh, they picked the perfect person. Yeah. Where you gonna get shit squared away? Oh shit. Titties. I came for your little rookie. Titties. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey yo. Of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird ass noise. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, you can suck my dick. Damn. <laughs> yo, chill. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this shit is wild, nigga. Mortal Kombat over some dick. Hey yo, you mugging like that. Hey yo. Damn. 
Damn. Damn. Oh, shit. Joan, not familiar. I'm trying to expand my harem. They cut that shit off. It's just a wood stick, how? Oh, shit. Is that what uh, Homegirl is? Mm -hmm. I thought it was her friend. Damn. Damn, I'm slapping the shit out of him. Fuck out the way. I'm sorry. Probably because it looked like a. I'm having problems getting it up, man. I'm sorry. I can't do it. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Halt! Who goes there? You remember doing that shit? So we just gonna walk past each other and not. Hmm? Shake like a dick. I beg your pardon? She must be one too. Mm. She can probably smell Wiener. Oh, she's a monster. Oh, the animation just went up? Never mind, I might be wrong. Oh, maybe I was right. So we're gonna call this one Cheeks. Okay. Sorry. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> they gotta stop saying that. <laughs> Oh shit. Jeez. You be fucking go. Don't sell yourself so short. <laughs> Damn, it's like a <laughs> Debating the meaning of life. <laughs> what does it mean? Coexisting. Oh shit. No, oh, Ecos. I heard of this nigga before. I don't remember what he was for though. Neither do I. Yeah, my face, bro. Oh, jeez. Another deadlock. <laughs> Evilist. Oh, that might explain why Wiener was having the dreams then. Doing on some nut shit. Yo, Hermes was strapped up. He was like, Yo, I'm about to set this motherfucker up if you try some shit. <laughs> Get out of my bed. Yeah, I wonder. If it's something about the floor. Okay. 
Yeah, she got a point. So speaking to yourself a third person. You braces. Tell me she's not insane. Oh my god. <sighs> last one. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Jeez. She gonna come across the wrong person. Mm-hmm. Mm? That too. The hell was that? Oh, she about to get body by them boxes. <gasps> Please tell me your wing is hidden. Please tell me your wing is hidden. God damn it! Ah, shit. Nani? Girl, run away. Some wild shit. Oh, my. People just watched her save her, and now you just like... No, nah, what they saw was the wings. They saw the wings pop up. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. Whew. I don't care. Hmm? Oh, it's Lily. You know what? I fuck with Lily, man. She ride or die. Even though she's a little prejudiced. <laughs> Just a, a smidgen. Oh, God. That's tough. Did we have an ED last episode? No, we didn't. It was just the OP, I think. Let's see what it's talking about. <laughs> okay, something slight. Something slight. All right, brother. Episode two. How you feeling? That was pretty good. And it seems to be... What was I about to say? The... The story around uh, Wiene seems to be unraveling a little bit quicker than I thought. Yeah, I mean, great. I know this is only episode what two, mm -hmm. but I expected something like that to happen, like maybe in the next episode or two. Yeah, no, they they definitely uh, was like, yeah, we're gonna show y'all that. I mean, provided they only do like thirteen episodes, so. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I I would imagine it to kind of move a little bit quicker as far as like the uh, impending doom and the the conflict that is to come or whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, this is her real first taste of seeing what people are like and how they react to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that monster asks, you know, can we coexist with the way things are now? No, mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's interesting seeing stuff like this. Cause like, you know, we see that she saved the little girl and yeah, they might've seen it after the fact, you know, they saw her wearing whatever, but this makes me like wonder like, back in like segregation era like when a black person did something good you know what i'm saying were they seen in the same light you know what i'm saying and chastised was like oh you know that they're you know get them out of here they can't be here regardless of what they did even if it, if it was something good you know what i'm saying like i just kind of get that parallel from oh, it so yeah. it's definitely interesting to see this kind of topic coming up in anime you know where you got the prejudice and you're trying to figure out okay can we find like a middle ground to coexist and and do things properly as as a society you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. obviously they go into the dungeon they kill monsters monsters kill them so it's kind of this bad blood that's been going on for however long the dungeon's even been there you know what i'm saying and now you have this dynamic where you have conscious monsters that don't necessarily want to kill and they want to make shit work but 
you know, they can't because of the way that society set up and stigmas and stuff like that. So it's definitely interesting to see. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's all the episode, man. You know, it's definitely interesting. We see a lot of moving pieces with Ekelos and you know Hermes. Um, I'm still trying to find out where Hermes lies in this spectrum because I like if Hermes does find out, is he gonna help Bell or is he going to go against Bell? You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like he's against Ekelos, who's trying to you know get Bell to spill the beans about the talking uh, Vivre or whatever it's called. But um, mm-hmm. I I don't know, man. Who knows? I don't know. Definitely interesting. Though. I'm definitely excited to see what happens next episode. Mm-hmm. You got anything else? No, chef. All right, y'all. Go ahead, comment, like, subscribe. Let us know what y'all thought about this week's episode of Dalmashi. We'll be back next week with episode three. So stay tuned for that. Um, I got nothing else on that. So, yeah, check out that link tree down in the description below. Check out uh, the Teespring as well. And that's all we got. Reanimated out.